The Strategic Rocket Forces, Cho Sangal, Jose Onanmingan Junlioglokachugan Hanya, Chaoxian Renminjun Zanlu Loketeu Jun, also known as Missile Guidance Bureau, Cho Sangal, Misaljidogug Hanya, Misalji Daoju is a military branch of the Korean People's Army that oversees North Korea's nuclear and conventional strategic missiles. It is mainly armed with surface to surface missiles of domestic design as well as older Soviet and Chinese models. The Missile Guidance Bureau was established in 1999 when several missile units under KPA Ground Force Artillery Command were reorganized into a single missile force. Topic: History. Shortly after Kim Il Sung's the 5th of October 1966 instructions to jointly develop the military and the economy, the Second Machine Industry Ministry, under the Korean Workers' Party Secretary in charge of military defense industries, was formed to regulate the procurement and production of weapons. Some sources assert that North Korea had begun the production of multiple rocket launches in the early 1960s. It might be logically assumed by 1965 Kim Il-sung had probably made the political decision to establish an indigenous missile production capability after the Soviets could not produce a suitable ballistic missiles arrangement to favor his request. Nevertheless, during the 1960s the Soviet Union began to provide free rockets over ground frogs, surface-to-air missiles SAMs, and coastal defense anti-ship missiles, which provided North Korean engineers groundwork technologies for rocket propulsion, guidance, and related missile systems. In 1965, North Korea founded the Hamhung Military Academy to train North Korean defense personnel in rocket and missile research and development. By 1970, North Korea had procured surface-to-ship missiles and surface-to-air missiles from China. Pyongyang also sought assistance to establish its own independent sovereign missile defense development program. In September 1971, North Korea signed a defense agreement with China to procure, develop, and produce ballistic missiles. Around 1977 final details for bilateral cooperation grew when North Korean engineers participated in a joint development program for the DF-61. The DF-61 was ideally to be a liquid-fueled ballistic missile with a range of about 600 km and a 1,000 kg warhead. The program was cancelled in 1978 because of Chinese domestic political opinions. Around this same time, Pyongyang was also seeking Soviet missiles and technology. The DPRK procured Soviet-made Scud B ballistic missiles. The timing of the acquisition is unclear. One North Korean defector asserted that the Soviet Union provided about 20 Scud Bs in 1972. This claim has not been substantiated and is probably not credible. By 1984, the DPRK had produced and flight tested its HWASONG 5, which reportedly has a range of 320 km compared to the Scud B's 300 km. The extra 20 km is attributed to improvements in the missile's propulsion system and not a reduction in the mass of the warhead. Just as North Korea was beginning to manufacture the Hwasong-5, Tehran approached Pyongyang in 1985 to purchase the missile for use in the «War of the Cities» with Iraq. North Korea began to construct missile bases for the Hwasong-5 around 1985–86, just before the missile went into serial production around 1987. North Korea's ballistic missile development then accelerated at a fast pace. As soon as mass production of the Hwasong 5 began, North Korea began developing the Hwasong 6, Huozing 6 or Scud C, the Radong, commonly known as Nodong 1, the Paektusan 1, Baitushan 1, commonly known as the Taepodong 1, the Paektusan 2, Baitushan 2, commonly known as the Taepodong 2, and the Musudan, despite the difficulties of missile development and the fact that other countries had tried and failed to develop medium and intermediate range missiles, North Korea began to produce Radong prototypes around the same time it was beginning mass production of the Hwasong 6. The first Radong deployments were in February 1995, even though the system only had two flight tests one catastrophic failure and one successful flight at a reduced range. In 1999 different missile units, which were subordinate to the KPA Ground Force Artillery Command, were reorganized into a single missile force, the Missile Guidance Bureau. 
It would be only in 2012 when Kim Jong-un referred to the service as the Strategic Rocket Forces during his commemorative address honoring the centennial year of Kim Il-sung's birth. Since Kim Jong-un came to power in December 2011, North Korea has attempted to launch nearly three times as many ballistic missiles as during the entire reign of his father, Kim Jong-il. Between 2011 and the end of 2016, North Korea launched a total of 42 ballistic missiles, 20 short-range Scud-type missiles with a range of 300 to 1,000 km, 10 medium-range Nodong missiles that can fly 1,300 to 1,500 km, 8 intermediate-range Hwasong-10 missiles traditionally assessed to have a range of 3,500 to 4,000 km, and 4 submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs. These tests can be divided into three categories, tests of operational missiles, tests of missiles North Korea considered operational but were untested such as the Musudan, and those still under development such as the Pukuksong Polaris family of solid-fueled missiles. In 2012 the United Nations and independent experts said that North Korea did not operate missiles beyond the intermediate range, and that the long-range missiles shown at parades are mock-ups. There were doubts about the authenticity of the KN-08 missiles displayed on 16-wheel carrier trucks during a 2012 military parade, and the Musudan missiles shown in 2010. Organization The Strategic Rocket Forces is a branch of the KPA, and is directly subordinate to the Supreme Commander. Topic. Facilities Musudan Ri is a rocket launching site in North Korea at 40 degrees 51, 129 degrees 40 e. It lies in southern North Hamgyong Province, near the northern tip of the East Korea Bay. The area was formerly known as Taipo Dong, Depodong from which the Taipodong rockets take their name. Kiteyong site is located in Kangwon Province, which borders South Korea. It is used for launches of short to medium range missiles and has a pad for mobile launches. Kalguldong site is located in Chagang Province and houses Hwasong 5 sixths missiles, targeting South Korea. Kusong site is located in North Pyongan Province and houses Radong missiles. It targets U.S. forces in Japan. Okpyong Dong site is located in Kangwon Province and houses Hwasong and Radong missiles. Pongdong Ri site is located on North Korea's west coast, about 50 km south of the North Korean Chinese border. Sakonmal Missile Operating Base is a short range ballistic missiles site located in North Hwanghai Province. There are other numerous smaller sites, scattered around the country, serving for mobile launcher pads. Some larger sites are under construction. <laughs> Launching capabilities Silo-based launch – South Korean government sources are reported to have stated that a missile silo complex is located south of Paiktu Mountain near the Chinese border. The silos are reportedly designed for mid- to long-range missiles, but it is not clear if all of them are operational. Launch pads – Launching pads are required for the more sophisticated Taipodong-1 half, as their liquid propellant is difficult to store and the missiles must be fueled immediately before launch. This launching method poses a great risk, as the sites themselves are extremely vulnerable to airstrikes. Launching pads can be used to test different types of SRBM, IRBM and ICBMs, and to launch space satellites, but they are of little value if any of these missiles is to be deployed as a strategic weapon. Mobile launcher vehicles – North Korea extensively uses mobile launchers for its missiles, including the RODONG-1 and the HWASONG-10. These are hard to detect and significantly improve survivability. Submarine, ship based launch. The Korean People's Navy is not currently known to have any ballistic missile submarines in service. However, it has started research and development into a capability to launch ballistic missiles from submarines and has successfully fired a missile from one of its test submarines. <laughs> Active missiles Detailed listings of the equipment holdings of the Korean People's Army are rather scarce in unclassified literature. 
North Korea operates the Frog 7, HWASONG 5, locally built Scud B, HWASONG 6, locally built Scud C, HWASONG 9, aka Scud -er, and HWASONG 7, mislabeled as RODONG 1. The US National Air and Space Intelligence Center reported in 2009 that the rocket forces had fewer than 100 launches for Tochka and Hwasong-56 SRBMs and fewer than 50 launches for the HWASONG-7. Academic research in 2015 suggested North Korea had about 1,000 ballistic missiles, 600 Hwasong series, 100 NOTS-02s, and 300 Hwasong-7s. As of 2017, North Korea is thought to possess about 900 short-range ballistic missiles (SRBMs). As of 2016, South Korea's military has identified three belts of North Korean missiles, with the first located about 50 to 90 kilometers north of the Korean Demilitarized Zone (DMZ). This belt reportedly has 500 to 600 Scud missiles that have ranges of 300 to 700 km. It said the North has some 40 transporter erector launchers in this belt, which makes the missiles harder to detect. In the second belt lying 90 to 120 km north of the DMZ, Pyongyang is known to have placed 200 to 300 No Dong also called Redong medium-range missiles with a range of around 1,300 km with 30 TELs. In the third belt lying deeper inside the country, the north may have 30 to 50 Musudan HWASONG-10 intermediate range ballistic missiles IRBMs and 30 TELs, with the latest reports indicating the deployment of the north's KN-08 long range missiles. Rather speculative estimates are given in the following table. Topic: <laughs> Warheads. North Korean missiles can serve to deliver various types of warheads, including WMD. It is possible that up to three RODONG-1 missiles are fitted with nuclear warheads. In a similar manner to the initial Chinese nuclear doctrine, nuclear weapons are being stored separately, and would only be mounted on missiles after an order of the Supreme Commander Kim Jong -un. Despite the claims by numerous media that North Korea has not yet created nuclear warheads small enough to be fit in a missile, reports surfaced in April 2009, according to which North Korea has miniaturized warheads, capable of being mounted on its missiles. The most suitable nuclear weapons delivery system is the RODONG-1, which has been successfully tested many times. Additionally, the DPRK possesses a large chemical weapons stockpile, including powerful agents such as Tabin, Sarin, Soman, VX gas and others. Little is known about the biological weapons stockpiles. They are probably limited, as North Koreans consider them much more dangerous to handle, therefore posing a threat to their own soldiers apart from the enemy. North Korea has yet to demonstrate the ability to produce a re-entry vehicle, without which North Korea cannot deliver a weapon accurately from an ICBM. However, a crude and highly inaccurate blunt body re-entry vehicle could be used in early missiles. North Korea has been upgrading warheads for their Scud-derived ballistic missiles with maneuverable re-entry vehicle capability in order to increase accuracy and introduce capability of evasion of ballistic missile defense systems such as THAAD. Topic. Exports Several countries, including Egypt, Iran, Libya, Pakistan, Syria, the United Arab Emirates UAE, and Yemen, have bought North Korean ballistic missiles or components, or received assistance from North Korea to establish local missile production. Topic. See also North Korea and weapons of mass destruction North Korean missile tests List of states with nuclear weapons UK Trident Programme